when it comes to cleansing or weight loss, the first drink that most people try is warm water with honey. Honey is a natural cleanser and an immunity booster. Hence, when taken first thing in the morning, it helps flush out a lot of toxins. The moment toxins are removed from the body, the nutrient absorption and availability becomes better. Honey also contains antibacterial properties and hence helps fight a lot of infections. When combined with lemon, it can help fight urinary tract infections. It helps in strengthening collagen, making skin look much more healthy and younger. It helps with irritable bowel syndrome and helps in digestive health for people suffering from bloating, constipation, and acidity, etc. Remember, honey loses its properties at a higher temperature and should never be mixed with hot water. Lukewarm water is ideal. Well, honey has three main tricks for fighting bacteria. The first is all that sugar. Honey is only about 17% water. Most, but not all, of what remains is sugar. The two main types of sugar in honey are glucose and fructose. Like all sugars, glucose and fructose are sticky. They attract water. Honey is technically a super saturated solution, meaning it contains more sugar than would normally dissolve at that temperature. That's why it eventually gets all crystalline in the pantry. Over time, the sugar comes out of the solution. Chemically speaking, it's desperate for water. Water can travel across cell membranes from where there's a higher concentration of water to where there's a lower concentration. And there's a higher concentration of water in a bacterium than in honey. Which means that honey will suck the juices right out of any bacterium or mold or fungus that tries to set up shop. Plus, there isn't enough water in honey for any microorganisms to live on, so they die and the honey doesn't spoil. This that honey should be prescribed before antibiotics for coughs and colds. Medi Honey, a honey-based gel used for wound treatment. And just as most people know, it's a bad idea to get stung on your private